Welcome to this session on deploying Harmony Mobile with a UEM. By the end of this session, you will be able to describe the general process of deploying Harmony Mobile with a UEM and perform the necessary steps on Harmony Mobile's end to complete the deployment. As previously discussed, Harmony Mobile integrates with a UEM to provide risk posture assessment of devices in the organization. Based on the assessment and on predetermined criteria, the UEM can then quarantine a risky device or activate a set of policies or mitigation actions until the risk is removed. For the sake of simplicity, we'll be using Microsoft Intune as an example throughout this lesson. For other UEMs, please refer to the relevant documentation. With that in mind, let's first describe the high-level end-to-end deployment process of Harmony Mobile. To begin, you need to set up your UEM, preparing it for integration with a Harmony Mobile account. Once you complete the process on the UEM's end, and, granted that you already have a Harmony Mobile account activated in the Infinity Portal, you add the relevant UEM and run the configuration wizard to complete the integration. Now that everything is fully integrated, and the security groups and device identifiers have been fetched from the UEM and everything is in sync, you proceed to configure the security policy based on the organizational standards and preferences. This includes restricting and easing security rules in order to define which behaviors on the device are to be classified as high, medium, and low risk. Since there are numerous UEM solutions out there, every UEM with its own set of configuration steps, we're going to only briefly discuss the major configuration steps that happen on a UEM side. At the end of this Jumpstart program, to give you a better understanding of what an integration of Harmony Mobile with Microsoft Intune involves, you'll find optional video material on basic Intune configuration steps. Okay, so generally speaking, what does the configuration include on the UEM's end? First, you create security groups to which devices will be associated. Groups can be created based on business considerations, security considerations, etc. Once the implementation process is complete, these groups will be associated with designated Harmony Mobile security policies. Next, you define the Checkpoint Harmony Mobile Dashboard integration settings. This includes the provision of admin authentication credentials, API IDs, access keys, and anything that is needed to create that bridge between the UEM and Harmony Mobile. Then, you configure UEM to deploy the Harmony Mobile Protect app. Depending on the UEM provider and the type of implementation it supports, this stage will generally prepare the automatic deployment of the Harmony Protect app to the dedicated user devices. And that about encapsulates the major steps on the UEM's end. Naturally, there can be further configuration steps, but they are UEM dependent. Let's assume you've completed the first stage of the implementation setting up your UEM and preparing it for integration with a Harmony Mobile account. 